Google Chrome account. So a Chrome account gives you more than just a Gmail. The Gmail we're all familiar with. And the Android devices, each Android device, it has a Google account to set up to access the Play Store. And I think that's where most of us started to see here today with our Google account through our phone that we bought, our new phone. So the professional environment is swiftly evolving into a digital realm, increasingly centered around a cloud-based environment. And that's where our schools are also moving towards. Um, I don't know if I can say majority schools, but most schools are using a cloud environment. So Google Workspace is one of the cloud in um, based with google so google workspace is also a cloud environment that schools can use and it's free we can register but in order for you to register you must use um you must really ask your e-learning advisor to you, assist you in going about using the google workspace we just so um you can use the same google account across multiple devices one account i can use it on my phone as i said earlier that's where we all started and on the tablet and this year is where we uh, the cloud i'm speaking about that we're going to use so this is my um my desktop and on my desktop there's two chromes one belongs to my husband so you can go to his personal thing there and then there's my one and i'm opening my one uh, when you go to the icon where your face is, which shows this is your Chrome, who it belongs to, you can see I have different Chromes that belongs to our school, the D for Delft, that's my grade 3s. When we started with Google, what we decided, each grade has to have a Google Chrome account, and that's how we can access our accounts. One first one account and multiple teachers can access it from the own device, be it the phone. I don't think anybody wants to use the phone, it makes the phone full. So we access it from our laptops. And today I want to show how I we can use one Google account and go to add. Just move the thing. So I'm not going to continue without an account. I'm going to sign into a other Google account to just get the details. I will just sign into the coding itself. To get that code, let's send the email to the, not the email, a message, SMS to our vice principal and then she had to, I had to call her for it and that's how she knew I am accessing the SVST Chrome, give me one, two, six, three, zero. Okay. And I'll say don't ask again. and I'm in. So yes, that is how you access. So now I have access to my school's coding and robotics Chrome one. It's at school and now I have access to it from home and that's what I mean by different different devices and so it says error there so i have to like fix the enable extension and another one enable extension and then my thing is fine so now we will be looking at how i'm going to add a new where to hate a new chrome account i want to create one now so I'll add again. Again, I'm going to sign in. And I want to create an account. 
So I don't want, I'm not adding one now. So I want to create a brand new account. For personal use will be my personal email for uh, my child. And obviously they're going to have certain restrictions. But right now it's not for child. It's for my school. It's, uh, it's for business. Yes, so yeah, I have the SBST. This is which is still empty, so there's nothing happening in there, no information in V. So now we have two um, Google accounts. The, uh, right now, there's three open. I'm going to close my personal one. Close and close. So now I have one, two. Okay, I'm holding on to that one. V and the. So we have three, I have three different Google Drives Chrome's open. And what we're going to do now next is to so how we can view it in guest mode. When I go to the coding and robotics one, guest mode. So I'm using somebody's laptop or computer or maybe the school. So like I went one day to see Tell I and um, I wanted to use it. Use and I wanted to access something on my account from my account. And then what happened was I could um add my account like i just added the other account and i could access my account and that's what i mean by sync so uh when you go it will ask you to sync my sync was on that's why it didn't ask me to sync across devices so if i want to access what's on the com school's computer from on this drive obviously then i have to sync the accounts it will go into a history when you go into here you go down and you'll see history and you can see what was browsed this um what we browsed from the coding and robotics browse so far and when i go into the others you will see obviously there but now i want to go into guest mode so that nobody when you use guest mode it's it's preferred um what target it's advisable not to add your account onto somebody else's laptop because uh, what can happen at the moment right now, the laptop at school, there's, a, so there's two people's Chrome's on it and whoever wants to view what's happening on the email, the Gmail, whatever, we can view it. So, it's at, so if you don't want anybody to know what you're browsing, you go down and you go into guest mode. And as you can read the page you view, the window won't appear, the browser history. So the history, the browser history is not safe. As you can see, there's no history when I click on the meat pool. So we call the three dots the meat pools. And when you do Google fundamentals too, you're going to learn about the nine dots, which is the waffles. A browser doesn't store your browsing history or the cookie, the cookie sites, the data or, or form inputs. Uh, so now we're going to incognito mode. So again, you can just close that. You go again to the th three dots, which is known as the meatballs. And this incognito mode. And again, this message appear that you will, nobody will be able to see the 
third party sys block cookies sys blocked all the cookies irritating so yeah those are the one to save cookies like when it says uh, the site is cookies and then you must say accept all cookies this is another way of avoiding real cookies only one out there's only one just so think again so there's only one window and when i press ctrl in i've just opened a new window so i'm going to type something in my new window maybe um wcde portal but i don't want to use that one now it was just a show so i'm going to my new one the right arrow so now we have to split we were going to split we're going to work on two screens i hope this is something new because for me this was something new when i did when i attended this workshop so now we're going to press the windows key okay, which is the control windows key and you can either press the right arrow or the left arrow wherever you want the window to appear and there i have I can choose which window I want open. I want to use. Oh, okay. It's chose for me now because I clicked. So now I have the one open of the e portal and then I have the new window open. And now I want to open a new tab. Control T for tab. And just show me the T. I went, I had to click on V to open a new tab. Now I have a new tab open and I would like to drag that tab. I'm going to search something on the tab already. I have a portal. Oh. Hey, yeah, book creator. Tomorrow I'll be doing book creator. And I want to drag my book creator. Instead of using it on the one tab, I want to use it on the other tab. So I'm going to... Um, click on my mouse and I can drag it over to something just went wrong so I need to split my screen again and we is over to the next window would anybody would like me to do that again I think you can better just repeat it once more, yes? Okay, so, uh, so, great. Now I'm going to drag this tab from the left to the right. And then I'm going to drag it over V. Should I repeat any of the steps again? Is there anyone who wants me to repeat the steps again? Control N, Control T, the Windows key, right arrow. Anybody who wants me to repeat that again? Everybody understand, or oh, at least you wrote it down. And so now we're going to uh, it, um, at least make our screen big again. Now, if I press F11, then it, oh, it's working now. So then sometimes it don't work. So for those of you, if it don't work, this a and you have these blue thingies here, you press F in and then F11 for the bottom to work. So that's almost like a second function. Should. So now we want to highlight a link. Okay, I don't want to press the creator. Okay. Let's see. Okay. E portal. That's not real. Let me just get another one. I want to go to e portal and inst I want to highlight that link. So to highlight, you press Control again and you press the L. Check, check that. Just so that I can be clear. So you press the L. It's been highlighted already. We just go with Control L and then it highlights the L for highlighting. I don't know where it fits in there, but yeah. So we press Control L and now I want to copy it. A Control C for copy. And I want to 
add to a new window and control V. How to bookmark on Chrome. I found this so cool. Bookmarking. To bookmark something, let's say I want to go, um, bookmark um, WC, uh, it's been bookmarked already. Let me see. Book creator. Book. So I need to research book creator on here. This book creator is also you can store your URL and then you can save it. Um, name it maybe book creator. Then, so when I go to that thing that looks like a door next to my Chrome, uh, uh, my Chrome account, this uh, uh, icon that looks like a door. When I open that, this is my book creator. You can also move your site with that. This is my e portal, and it's to this. So now showing me there is one URL in access your stuff then it's there i open it wcde portal uh, if i had to like um i had to start to um, start my new google chrome account then this wouldn't have been here that's extensions, it wouldn't have been there. So I would have now go out, add an extension. And I go to extension. So the first thing, so if you don't have that puzzle piece there, you go to the three, the meat bolts. So I go to my uh, meat bolts and I will go, this is three again, just to jog our memory my meat pools and i will add an extension In google you can search for gravelly or google translate oh that's also lovely but yes okay so you will then just click on it and you will add okay so you can see that's already one of mine you can see it's right there i use it every single day Okay, so then it would say uh, add to Chrome and then you would give it some permissions and then it will add to your Chrome and then it will pop up whenever you are uh, working on something. Is there another one for Zila? Yes, yeah, then we have Google Translate, my baby's favorite. <laughs> she loves Google Translate because again, Afrikaans not the first language. So she will just, I think she taught me Google Translate. Again, it's already been added. <laughs> For us teachers, this one is one of my favorite ones. It's called Custom Cursor. So I can change my cursor to anything. So let's say I'm a maths teacher. I can click on this one and everything will now change to you can see there now i've got a ruler and so on um if i like captain jack sparrow over there i've got a sword i've got the pirate coming up so custom cursor is also one of my favorite tools to use as an mm -hmm. extension so now we know workspace we contact our e-learning advisor and they will help us set up We know, oh, just a, rev a revision. We know um, the same Google Chrome account, like I just accessed our coding and robotics account, can be used across multiple devices. And these are cloud for Chrome. What I love about the cloud based, what I love about the cloud based environment is that it simplifies administrative work. It, and it's like it makes the process easy for us yeah so in google drive a click of a button you search you don't have like physically look around for the things i'm like uh schedule there it is um term one assessments that we are writing you just type it in it pops up and that is wonderful about this 
program or not program and in fundamentals um the drive google drive is more about um the docs and how you populate it about how we can collaborate and then we also have, on the drive we will have the google classroom and again we go through that again module one is about what we're doing now module two is about collaboration and now i don't know what it is about populating and then i think i touched a lot on google drive now and then module three and four is about how we can collaborate work and share work and the schedule like uh, how we can like populate it together as a team at your yeah, google fundamentals for flock because you're going to learn a lot and how to uh so it really helps us and with the necessary knowledge and skills to work in a cloud-based environment. And then another last thing, Melissa, and then I'll give over to you. Um, I mentioned that Chrome is a, I view it as a memory stick, but we also need to be in mind it's more than a memory stick. It's not just for saving on work. As I explained, so yeah, I made some notes.